bodies are extraordinary. We throw all sorts at them, and they hardly ever let us down. Inside us, the lungs, the heart, the kidneys are parts of an amazing machine. Our organs are constantly working away to keep us alive, every second of every day. Each of us is unique, and none of us leads a perfect lifestyle. But armed with the right knowledge, there's a lot we can all do to look after our essential, vital organs. As a doctor and an anatomist, it's my job to know what our organs look like and how they work. And I'm fascinated by the way the human body is put together. But I want to get out of the lab and see how our organs cope with the challenges of the real world. And today, I'm concentrating on the lungs. I want to meet people who put their lungs under extreme pressure and others who are giving theirs a hard time. On Monday night, I smoked 40 cigarettes at the pub. 40? I'm hoping to see for myself the damage that cancer can do. Big, hard lump, about the size of a tennis ball. But it's not just other people's lungs I'm interested in. I'm going to test my own to the limit. <laughs> Talking is quite an effort as well. In the next half hour, we'll all learn how to look after our lungs so they can look after us for a good, long lifetime. This is my user guide to your lungs. Our lungs are very cleverly designed organs. They get rid of carbon dioxide that we don't need and exchange it for oxygen that we definitely do. Sam Kirby and I are about to test our lung capacity to the limit. The challenge, to see how long we can swim underwater on one breath. After just one width, my lungs are already at bursting point. <laughs> Well, we're air-breathing animals, so unlike fish, we can't get oxygen out of water. They say we rely, when we're underwater, on the last gasp of air we took to keep us alive. But Sam's still going strong. After all, she's a member of the British free dive team. Sam, you've just done three wits underwater to my one, and that was holding your breath for longer than a minute, so... What's the longest you can hold your breath underwater? About five minutes, well, that's really? without moving. How have you trained yourself to be able to do that? Before we set off, we use a technique which is really slow breathing, in and out, as slow as you can. But before you go down, the last right. thing you're going to do is take in a really big, deep breath. You also need to train by building up your tolerance to carbon dioxide, so that when most people would start thinking, oh, I want to come up, a freediver will know how much longer they can stay down or how much further they can swim. Sam has trained her body to make the most of just one breath. She's very mindful about the way she uses her lungs, but for most of us, we take our next breath without ever having to think about it. I live in Bristol, where I teach anatomy at the university. I wonder what my fellow citizens know about their lungs. Liver or kidney? Or... Lungs. Ah, lungs, is it? What, how many breaths? In a whole day, over a thousand. Can I get them in there? Two thousand. Probably here is where they start. Well, they're not far wrong. This is where the windpipe or trachea branches, and as you can see on Trevor, the lungs extend right up into the neck area. You all right there, Trevor? Mm, fine. Yeah. The lungs wrap around the heart and take up most of the room in your chest. Each lung is subdivided into lobes: two on the left and three on the right. I'm making your lungs a bit pinker, Trav, because you live in the countryside. So there we have it. Healthy-looking pair of lungs. <sighs> Unfortunately, most of us won't have clean pink lungs like Trevor's because we live in cities where the pollution takes its toll. 34-year-old Lisa Garrity has been living in London for six years. I grew up in Iowa, and that's in the US. My little joke about it is that it stands for idiots out wandering around. <laughs> the 
first time I had a cigarette, I was about 14 or 15 years old, and I've been smoking for 15 years. And I definitely don't want to be smoking once I'm 35. Lisa needs help to quit, so I'm